If war ever broke out in your country and you had a few minutes to vacate your home, what would be that one thing that you'd carry with you to your new home of hope? I've traveled to Bidi Bidi, which is the largest settlement in the country and the second largest settlement in the world. Refugee integration involves adapting to host communities without having to forego their own values and cultural identity. The 2016 clashes in Juba marked the beginning of a civil war in South Sudan. Over 40,000 civilians fled the country, mostly with no warnings at all. Bidibidi settlement in northern Uganda is home to over 226,000 refugees, mostly fleeing the prolonged civil war in South Sudan. The majority of the population are women and children, with a total of over 197,780 people which is approximately 87% of the entire population. Being far away from home, refugees treasure their positions, which offer comfort in their new found home. But, uh, I left everything down because uh, it was uh, escaping actually. That I could not even carry any single thing. Even the clothing, I could not carry. Just came like that. Working a lot. Nothing alone. I found any. Mere gele konye mure kona. I need the documents because uh, even if you've lost everything in life, documents are very important because they can keep the life started again. Damian Taban was an engineer back at home in South Sudan who ran his own business. He only managed to carry a laptop while fleeing the war. Damien now chairs the Refugee Welfare Council in Bidibidi Zone 3, Village 10. Of course, you cannot leave your culture and disappear. It will not be fair. Even you need to pass to the generations. So that when God will help us, when we shall go back, and then that will be the time where my children will say, hey, when we are in exile, our parents, we are passing our culture, this is what we know. Stories from refugees are a sign of hope, an indicator that one day the fire is going to cease and the refugees being hosted in this country are going to return home. My name is Clinton Tumanye, MCI Fellow. Say no to all. Ooh, let's come together. One people.